Hi everybody, it's Rebecca Virginia and today I have some Disney and Disney World themed DIYs to share with you. Let's get started with the first DIY. To begin our Disney DIYs, I'm starting off with a glitter mini themed glass. And the best part of it is all the hidden Mickeys inside. Here's what you need to make it on your own. To make this really fun mini glass, I am first going to be taking a stemless wine glass from the Dollar Tree. They have some really nice glassware, so definitely check it out next time you hit up your local Dollar Tree. And if any of you know, at Disney World, there are tons of hidden Mickeys. Even in a lot of the Walt Disney movies, you will see hidden Mickeys everywhere. Definitely Google hidden Mickeys if you don't know what I'm talking about but I wanted to create some on this glass. So I used my cutting machine to cut out a bunch of little Mickey silhouettes and I placed those all over my glass. And now I am taking some painter's tape and a good trick is if you're doing glass to make sure that you actually have the painter's tape level is you can fill it with water and you're just going to place the painter's tape wherever the water's edge is. So after I placed down my painter's tape, I dumped out all of the water and moved on to the next step, which is taking some Mod Podge. I used dishwasher safe Mod Podge. I don't plan on putting this in the dishwasher, but it'll just make it a little bit more resilient to soap when I'm hand washing it. And then I took some of this red glitter from the Dollar Tree and dumped it all over our stemless glass. And you'll see when I go through again for a second coat of the red glitter, I actually do a smaller section and I would recommend that. The first time I put Mod Podge all over the glass and added the glitter and the next time I worked in smaller sections and I think the smaller sections just worked out better. The glitter seemed to stick a bit better. I just went in with a second coat and then when I was done going over with a second coat, I left it for 24 hours to dry. And then because of course it is red glitter, you don't want to have red glitter flying everywhere every single time that you use this glass. So once it was dry, I went over it again with another coat of the dishwasher safe Mod Podge. And that just ensures that all the glitter is sealed in and you're not gonna have glitter flying everywhere and leaving little bits of pixie dust everywhere that you go. And I also, before it dried, removed the tape. I'm sure that you could have left the tape on, but I just feared that the Mod Podge would peel if I did it after. So I went ahead and just removed the tape and then dried it upside down. I love the way that it came out. You can't see the hidden Mickeys from the outside of the glass, but when you look in or when you're sipping, you're going to be greeted by all of these really cute hidden Mickey silhouettes. Then I also went ahead and put a Mickey on the glass and had to make it mini to match the red, so I went ahead and added a bow too. I used permanent vinyl when I made my mini silhouette, but if you use temporary vinyl, just make sure to seal it in with some Mod Podge. The next Disney DIY is a little bit darker and it is inspired by the Haunted Mansion ride at Disney World. Here are all of the supplies you'll need to make this. Next up, I'm doing a Haunted Mansion themed DIY. Let me know in the comments down below, what is your favorite ride at Disney World or Disneyland? It's a tough tie between Pirates of the Caribbean and Haunted Mansion, but I think Haunted Mansion wins just because I love all the little details and different characters within the ride. So to kind of make this Haunted Mansion looking frame, I took a framed mirror from the Dollar Tree and I just taped out the actual mirror part so I didn't actually get any of the black paint on it. And then I just took black paint and my sponge brush and I'm going over the entire outside of the mirror. I also got really bored with my scenery in 2020, as I'm sure a lot of people did. So I watched a bunch of Disney vloggers. I got very into it. I kind of lived vicariously through them. I really like Mouse Talk. I'm subscribed to their channel. And I also love Super Enthuse and Diz Our Dream. Those are definitely my top faves and it's really fun to watch them and feel like you are actually inside the Disney World parks. Now I'm just taking some gray paint and dry brushing it to make this look nice and antiqued. 
I want this to look like. It came from the Haunted Mansion. If I had some cobwebs, I would have put that on it. This is a cutout of Constance Hatchaway. She is a very big part of the Haunted Mansion ride over at Disney World. So of course I had to add her on this mirror with one of the things that she says I do, I did in the ride. As a last little embellishment, I took one of these picks from the Halloween section at the Dollar Tree. They came in black and silver. I really liked the subtlety of the black on black, so I went ahead and hot glued that down, and then I was done. Even if you're not that into Disney or the Haunted Mansion, this would be a great DIY to do for the upcoming Halloween season. Next, we have a Mickey Mouse themed soap dispenser and toothbrush holder. Here's everything that you need to make it. For this next DIY, I took two of the bathroom accessories from the Dollar Tree. One is a soap dispenser and the other is a toothbrush holder. And the Dollar Tree makes these in black and white. And I decided to go with the black because I went more with my Mickey Mouse theme. Then I took some painter's tape and I'm just taping off what I thought was around halfway around both the toothbrush holder and the soap dispenser. And I would have just gone straight in with red paint, but I knew that it wouldn't show up on top of the black. So I'm basically just priming both of these with some white chalk paint. Then once the white paint had dried, I went over it with some red paint and this was actually a much darker red, but on top of the white, it kind of came out pink. So I do end up going in with another coat just to darken everything up. But this is going to be the bottom of our Mickey Mouse looking like his little pants. So that is why I'm painting the bottom half red. And I saw almost an exact replica of these in one of the Disney stores for way more than $2. So this is definitely a dupe on an actual Disney product that they are currently selling at their parks. Because this is going to be in a bathroom, there may be some moisture or dampness, so I'm just sealing everything in with a layer of dishwasher safe Mod Podge, and then I removed the painter's tape to reveal a nice crisp line, and I let this dry for 24 hours just to make sure that the Mod Podge was completely dry. And to finish this off with a signature Mickey Mouse look, I took some white buttons and just hot glued those onto the soap dispenser and the toothbrush holder, so those are the little buttons on his pants. This is such a quick and easy DIY and doesn't require many supplies, and it is a perfect Disney addition to any bathroom. The next Disney DIY is a Mickey Mouse storage container. Here are all of the supplies that you'll need to recreate this item. I started off by taking a large juice can and of course after cleaning it out, I then put it down on some cardboard and traced out the cardboard and this is going to act as our lid. Then I took two different sizes, one larger and one smaller of these circle stickers that you can find at the Dollar Tree and they're kind of a 3D sticker and what I'm doing is along the upper edge of our juice can, I am making little Mickeys. So I'm using the larger circle kind of as his head and then for the ears I'm taking the two smaller circles. And just to make sure I don't have any too close or too far apart, I'm using a popsicle stick in between each one kind of as a measurement to make sure that I don't have them too close together. And it doesn't matter what color stickers that you use because we're going to be covering it in white paint. And I ended up having to do about three coats just because I wanted it to be completely opaque white. Moving on to the lid of our Mickey jar. So I'm taking that piece of cardboard that we cut out earlier and some nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. And we're going to just start swirling it all around the cardboard until every bit of the cardboard is completely covered by this nautical rope. And once you make it all the way around, if you have any excess nautical rope, you can go ahead and take some scissors and just trim that off. I ended up taking a wood bead and hot gluing it to the center so it would help us remove the lid from our Mickey jar. The last DIY in today's Disney themed video is a vacation fund piggy bank. Here's what you need to make it. 
This next craft is so quick and so easy. You only needed two supplies as you saw. So I'm taking this really cute vacation fund piggy bank that I got at the Dollar Tree. It's already super cute, but we're gonna make it a little bit more Disney themed. So I am taking a park map that I actually got in, I think the year said 2017 when I was last at Disney. And I am just going to be using this as the background of our vacation fund bank. So all that I did was trace it out. And this is a Magic Kingdom map. This of course is free when you enter the parks, but if you can't find one or if you didn't save one, you can find it online and just print it out. Now I didn't want any of the tropical flowers showing through, so I went ahead and just painted that black. I noticed that they kind of showed through on the map, so painting it black just eliminated that. Then I took some Mod Podge and I'm using a sponge paintbrush to kind of spread it out so it doesn't bubble or cause my map to crease. And I used this really fun tool that I got from Mod Podge. It's just like a little roller and make sure that no air bubbles are caused from the Mod Podge. Next, it is time to put this back together. So I went ahead and clipped the back into place and it is ready to go. You can start putting your coins or save dollars in there. But I did have some of these Mickey silhouettes made from vinyl that I had left over from our first project. So I figured I was gonna add a couple and make it even more Disney themed. So I added two little Mickey silhouettes to the bottom of our vacation fund. Thanks for watching all of today's Disney and Disney World themed DIYs. Until next time, keep searching, keep creating.